hello <clears throat> hello everyone this is black queen Tara, and i am here to do a reading for leo leo this is your monthly reading for um march 2024 so leo please keep in mind that the reading it may or may not resonate with you some parts of the reading might resonate other parts of the reading might not as well keep in mind that time it is fluid so this reading can manifest in march it can manifest later on down the line of time after march or this present reading could be past energy for you if this present reading is past energy for you, then it might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. Leo, I did like get messages messages and picked up on energy during the pre-shuffle. Um, Leo, you might um, make a mistake and call somebody somebody else's name that's not their own. And somebody might be turned off or offended. Or Leo, somebody might do this to you. Leo, I'm picking up, if somebody do this to you, it might be in a professional arena. And you're going to be very offended, very turned off. And you might view this professional person or professional setting as unprofessional. Because they might call you the wrong name or something. Or, Leo, I don't know if you had the doctor and your doctor or somebody going to uh, get your chart or something mixed up. Or they're going to call you a different patient name or something. Leo, for some of y'all, I'm picking up, if somebody called you by the wrong name, it was a mistake, it was an accident, and um, Leo, for some of y'all, I picked up the energy that your reaction could be a little bit extreme, not extreme, but Leo, you might do something a tad bit unnecessary when this person like offend you, like call you by the wrong name or something. Or something like that. Y'all might do something a tad bit. Uh, a little uh, unwarranted, just a little bit. So I picked up that energy. Um, I also picked up during love and romance. Concerning, not during, <laughs> but uh, concerning love and romance, when I was handling this uh, deck right here, um, Leo, uh, Leo, something going on concerning love and romance, something is going on with self-care for you, um, a friendship and forgiveness. So those were the messages. Um, Leo, I'm also doing y'all reading a little bit different for the monthly readings for March. So I'm not shuffling during the monthly readings in March. I'm just not shuffling. This is a top and bottom reading. So I'm pulling from the top and or the bottom. And that's it. I'm not shuffling. So let me go ahead with the display card. So what we have here. We have Hedgehog Love. Positive, uplifting new friends. I also heard intuitively, intuitively, Leo, you could be um, giving somebody tough love and it's like hedgehog love because it's tough love or Leo, your love could be prickly to someone. So Leo, you could be saying something harsh to somebody. It's like you love this person, but you're saying something harsh to them or you're giving somebody tough love, but nonetheless, hedgehog love, positive, uplifting new friends. So, Leo, I'm picking up, this could be about you or somebody else. Somebody could be a little jealous because somebody has a new friend. So, Leo, say like you got a bestie and you know your bestie for like 10, 20 years. And all of a sudden in March, your bestie got a, a bestie, like a new friend. It's like, Leo, you might say something uh, negative or something rude to your bestie's new bestie or your bestie's friend. Like something like that. So, Leo, it's like you can have, it's a possibility out here for you to have a new friend. But it's like a third party or someone you know that's connected to somebody you care about or something like that. Or something like that. So, Leo, you doing some type of tough love. Or, Leo, your love is a little prickly or something. Or you could be being a little rude to somebody or something like that. But nonetheless, the overall energy is positive and it's like you have uplifting new friends. So Leo, also be mindful of offending someone that's actually high vibrational. So y'all might offend someone that's high vibrational. Or Leo, somebody needs to understand your love language. This could also be a lover. It's like your love could be a little prickly. 
But that's your love language or something like that. And then we have romance, yup. It's at the bottom of the deck, yup. Yeah. So Leo, I don't know if y'all if y'all you guys could be a part of the LGBT the LGBTQ community. I'm also picking up Leo sometime throughout March. Initially, Leo, you you're gonna offend someone. But it's a friend of a friend. This person that you're going to offend, offend is a friend of a friend. Or it's somebody in a professional setting. Leo, for some of you guys, as time goes on, you're going to learn that this person or these people is very high vibrational. It's actually high vibrational. Leo, for other you guys, you're going to start dating this person that you initially offended. Yeah, so something might turn into like, rom something's going to turn romantic for some of you guys. And then we got a year from now. All right, so let's get a message from the guys. Practice moderation. Leo, for some of you guys, you could be very intuitive as well. And you could be, re you could be responding to someone energetically. So, Leo, you could be trying to protect yourself and like your protection could be very prickly. So, Leo, say like you falling in love with somebody or you know that you like this person more than they like you. It's like, Leo, you viewing something like from a deeper perspective, a higher perspective. And because you know this person is not like this person don't love you the way you love them. It's like you being mean to this person. <laughs> so, Leo, y'all could be de dealing with y'all divine feminine or y'all divine masculine. But maybe your divine feminine or divine masculine don't realize how much you care about them or something. So for some of you guys, you're just like protecting yourself. It's like a coping mechanism. You y'all being mean to somebody. And it could be because you care about them or something. Or Leo, you know deep down that somebody don't care for you the way you care about them. And or like on an energetic level or something. But nonetheless, Leo, whoever this, these people are or this person is, they are uplifting. They are high vibrational friends. I mean, uplifting new friends. And for some of y'all, this is like in a professional arena. Somebody that's offering you a service. These new uplifting friends. So, Leo, for some of you guys, I heard you're going to be there for a while. I heard you're going to be there for a while. So, Leo, you could be going to see a specialist or something. You might start seeing a specialist of some sort. <clears throat> but Leo, you're going to need this care, whatever type of care this is. You're going to need this care or you're going to have several doctor visits at this place or something. All right. So nonetheless, Leo, somebody um, in your energy should, should practice moderation. Or Leo, this is what spirit is telling me to tell you. But most of you guys, this is somebody else in your energy who should practice moderation. So somebody probably needs to be fair with you or somebody else in your energy. Or Leo, y'all could be dealing with a Sagittarius or got Sagittarius placements in y'all birth chart. So, yeah. Leo, for some of y'all, I heard too. Leo, if y'all dealing with a lover, this just came to me intuitively. Leo, if y'all dealing with a lover, this lover could be new. Leo, you're not going to say nothing, especially if you a man. I'm not even going to say that like that, but it don't matter. Leo, whether you a male or a female, Leo, your lover should pick, it, should pick it up intuitively that they should not be having too much sex with you. So, Leo, this is a lover for some of you guys. And it's like, Leo, somebody needs to understand and know that they need to put, it, put a limit on how much sex y'all have together or something like that. Somebody needs to understand that. Because, Leo, I heard you might not say nothing or you're not going to say nothing. <laughs> or something like that. But somebody need to pick something up intuitively or something like that. Or, Leo, if you a female, this could be your lover. And, Leo, your lover want too much sex. And, Leo, you might, like, snap at your lover. It's like your lover be wanting to have sex too much. And you might get tired and be like, no, or something like that. 
Or Leo, you gonna say, what the F you think I'm, I am? I'm not an object or something. Leo, you gonna snap on somebody. Because <laughs> somebody's not realizing something. <clears throat> so Leo, this is you or your lover. Somebody not realizing something. And that's why somebody needs to practice moderation. And for some of you guys, this is about like intercourse. Somebody's having too much sex or something like that. Or something. Or somebody want to know too much of your business, Leo. So somebody could be doing something. Somebody need to calm down or back off or something. Somebody got to practice moderation. So we have soulmate. So, Leo, you could definitely be dealing with a soulmate and love and romance. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. So, this soulmate energy, uh, Leo, is telling me that you, this is a reality for you in March. You're dealing with a soulmate. Or, Leo, if you could be confused a little bit, sometimes to me, this soulmate energy is spirit telling you what a soulmate is. And if a lover is not in this energy, then they're not your soulmate. So this could be a truth, a reality in your life in March, or it's like spirit is trying to like tell you something about what a true a true soulmate is. So nonetheless, your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Leo, for some of you guys, I'm picking up. You could have a choice between two. You could have a choice between two. And Leo, the one that's your soulmate. This is the one that loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. So y'all could be a little confused about which lover is your karmic versus which one is the soulmate or something like that. And then we have longing. Yeah. Yeah, Leo, this confirming the energy I picked up on. Leo, for some of you guys, you want to take a break from intercourse. Or Leo, if you're a female, you could have told this man to wait. You're not ready to have intercourse yet. Or you told a lover you need a break. And Leo, the, the one that's your soulmate, the lover that's your soulmate, he's going to respect your choices and your boundaries. And your lover is just going to patiently wait for you, like, until you're ready. So, Leo, maybe your belief is you don't have sex, you, or you don't, you could be trying to practice abstinence, Leo. For some of you guys, y'all can still be a virgin. And you don't want to have sex before marriage. Um, your soulmate is going to respect that about you. They're secretly yearning for you. Um, or Leo, you're practicing abstinence or something or something like that. Or you're making a lover wait or you're telling a lover I need a break or something like that. And your soulmate is going to respect your boundaries or your choices in love and romance in March. I also see Leo, this person that's longing for you. This could be an ex. Leo, in March, you're interacting with your soulmate. And because you're interacting with your soulmate, your ex has to keep their yearning for you a secret. So for some of you guys, this longing is your soulmate. For other you guys, this longing is your ex. And your ex has to keep their longing for you a secret because you have a soulmate. You're dealing with your soulmate. So, for some of you guys, your ex secretly wants you back. I see that, too. All right. So, let me see what positive changes. You, um, let me pull. We're going to see positive changes you should expect in March. Keep in mind, Leo, that these positive changes can affect you directly or indirectly. So, we have emotions. Self-care. And we have join in. All right. So that's the three positive changes you can expect in March. And then we have healing from the past at the bottom of the deck. So positive changes, Leo. These changes could be happening for you directly or indirectly. Something to do with emotions, self-care, and joining in. All right. So we got the higher font, Taurus energy. The sun, Leo, that's your energy. So somebody definitely married. Somebody might definitely um, get married. Or somebody might propose to somebody in March. Or somebody's definitely married. married. Somebody's going to get married in March. Or somebody's going to propose. And I'm hearing this marriage, this wedding is a guarantee. 
So if somebody proposed to somebody in March, the wedding is a guarantee. The marriage is a guarantee. So this is definitely wedding marriage energy. Something could also be going on with somebody's employment. Somebody could work for like the government, something that's federal. This could be legalities, the post office. Um, somebody could be a CEO, a correctional officer or something like that. Somebody, this could also be religious. Somebody could be a preacher, a priest um, and things like that. So this could, something could be going on with somebody's career. So somebody's going to be, somebody is going to be very successful concerning their career, occupation, a job. Somebody, I also see somebody's going to get hired in February. Leo, you or somebody else? More than likely is you. <clears throat> somebody's going to find employment and it could be like for a federal agency um, or government body. Like I said, this could be something like something like the post office so this don't have to be nothing like high ranking and too too sophisticated this could be somebody becoming like a postal worker but it's still governmental it's still federal to a certain extent so somebody's getting success good news and career somebody worked for the higher font that's governmental traditional federal Somebody might also end up in jail because they got exposed. So the sun could also be exposure. I also heard a Taurus could be the love of your life. Leo, a Taurus could be the love of your life. Or you marry a Taurus or you're going to marry a Taurus. Or this person that you're going to marry is the love of your life. Leo, for some of you guys, the love of your life could already be married to somebody else. Or you're going to marry the love of your life or something like that. <clears throat> the authorities could be like watching somebody. And it's like the sun energy don't even know. Somebody could be naive to something. Excuse me. So somebody need to be careful. So we have groupie. Can't be alone. Always has to partner up with someone tagging along just for the sake of it. We have long distance. A strong emotional commitment to another who is far away and often beyond physical access most of the time. So, Leo, you could be dealing with a lover that's long distance from you and your lover could be married. Leo, for some of you guys, your lover married their karmic. Your lover is married to a groupie. Or, Leo, your lover is the karmic or your lover is the groupie. But you guys live long distance or something. Or you guys are going to become long distance uh, in March. So, Leo, for some, of you, for some of you guys, I'm picking up for some of you guys. Your, the love of your life is a karmic. Or the love of your life chose a karmic over you. Or something like that. I also see, Leo, you don't like a choice that a friend of yours made or your family member made. So, Leo, you could be a little upset because your friend or your family member is choosing to marry like a karmic or a groupie. So, Leo, you might have a falling out with somebody that you care about because this person is behaving like a groupie. Or, Leo, you don't agree with who this person is like going to marry or who, who's they, who they married to. Somebody is a groupie. So, Leo, you don't agree with something. And you might separate from this person. And it's long distance. So, it's going to become long distance in March. Or it's always been long distance. I also see, like, workplace drama. It could be a third party situation going on in love at the work at work. I also see and I heard somebody boss might get exposed as well. So Leo, say like you work, you a CEO, you a correctional officer, 
And it's like you're going to find out that your boss's boss was cheating on their spouse or um, something like that. <laughs> so somebody in a high position might get exposed. And this person might get exposed because they're dating a groupie. They're cheating on their spouse with a groupie or they're, they're themselves. They're a groupie or something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I also see, Leo, some of y'all could be dating y'all boss or something. Or you guys date somebody that worked for the higher font or something. Leo, for some of y'all, this Taurus, this Taurus, Leo, for some of you guys, this Taurus view you as the love of their life. But Leo, for some of you guys, this Taurus is a groupie. This higher font energy. Yeah. So, Tor so Leo, um, I heard that your lover could be worse than you. Or, Leo, your spouse is worse than you. <laughs> it's like, Leo, you had to move away from your lover or your potential spouse because they were being too clinky or something. This person is even too much for you, Leo. So, Leo, I also see somebody view you as the love of their life. And it's like they're behaving like as if they're a groupie. And it's like, Leo, you're going to separate from somebody because they're doing too much or they're being too clingy. Or it's like, Leo, your lover want to have too much sex or something. And you're going to separate yourself or something like that. For other you guys, Leo, you could be the third party. And your lover that's acting like a groupie, they're married. So your lover could be like chasing you or something like that. I see secret lovers out here. So, Leo, you could be married and you're cheating. And you're cheating with somebody who's married. So, it's like both of y'all married. I see that too going on. Yeah. So, I, I'm hearing it again. Secret lovers. Secret lovers. That's what we are. <laughs> And Leo, this person is your groupie, your secret lover. <laughs> so Leo, you might separate yourself from someone before they make it obvious. <laughs> Leo, I also see and I heard somebody um, is going to like ask you a very serious question. So Leo, this is like a man saying, Leo, let's get married. And Leo, you like, boy, bye. <laughs> you like, man, no, or something. <laughs> Leo, for some of you guys, you could not, you could be naive to how to like that this person really care about you, <laughs> cause y'all the son, and y'all could be taking this higher font energy for granted, and you being naive or a little childish about something, and this person is serious. This person like I want to marry you, or Leo, you could be the one that wants sex as well, and this person is like, no, wait till we get married, or. Um, Leo, maybe you want kids and your lover is like, no, wait till we get married. And Leo, you like, boy, bye. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> so, Leo, for some of you guys, your lover is like more high vibrational than you are a little bit. Or this person is very traditional. Or something like that. <laughs> or Leo, you marry and you flirting with somebody. And Leo, you gonna say, boy, bye. <laughs> Leo, if you a female and you doing something you ain't got no business doing, <coughs> Leo, it could be an undercover like flirting with you. <laughs> or Leo, somebody marry and be careful. Leo, if you, Leo, you could be flirting with somebody. And I heard, Leo, this is, this person is going to tear your life up. It's like you're going to end up falling in love with a married man. It's like he's never going to leave his wife. He's like a groupie or this woman a groupie. But it's like, Leo, you naive to something. But I also heard, Leo, if you doing something, you ain't got no business. It's an undercover flirting with y'all. <laughs> and Leo, you like boy bye or girl bye or something. Y'all naive to something about that hard font. 
And that could be an undercover or somebody a cop or something, or something like that. But it's like this person flirting with you a little bit. I don't know if this is like literally something they're doing on their own or it's part of their job. Because they trying to set you up, Leo, or something like that. So, I'm going to end it there. So, Leo, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And, Leo, enjoy the remainder of March. And thanks.